<clears throat> Hello everyone, today I am back with another video that is also about uh, the drugs and uh, the same class that is antihistaminic. So, out of all antihistaminic, we have done two chlorpheniramine and one we have done uh, in the last video, citrusine. Now, we are going for the loratadine. Okay. Uh, as I have told you that we will go in the same fashion we have we have followed before so let's go and let's discuss the very general specifications of the drug of loratadine and out of all the general first of all we have the brand name in Pakistan in Pakistan we use the name of error free okay Allergy, you know, as the name indicates, allergy free, free of allergy. Okay, then we will go to the dosage form. Dosage form is uh, the tablet, and the dose that is given must be 10 milligram, <laughs> not more than 10 milligram. It may induce different complications. It will be counted as the overdose, and overdose will cause side effects, and side effects will be seen later. Okay, then after this, we have to go for the specific specifications which are only obsessed to the loratadine so first of all we will discuss the indications and in the indications we have chronic iatopathic urticaria yeah chronic iatopathic urticaria you can see the condition behind me wow that is very very bad condition you can see the redness you can see the itchy, you, know, you can feel the itchiness. That is a very harsh condition. Okay. In some of the condition, wheel and flare reaction may also occur. And it can only be treated through these antihistamine drugs. Then we have the hay fever. In hay fever, uh, you can see a beautiful lady behind me. And uh, she is not sneezing. She is not sneezing. Okay. The reason she has got the handkerchief in her hand is that she has got allergy from the allergens, okay, and has it penetrated in the body through the nasal cavity or through the oral cavity and has become allergic to that allergen and uh, sneezing is because of that allergen. So we will use loratadine. How it works in the body that we will see before and that we will see in the later on lecture today's lecture okay b bear with me then we have another very important that we have discussed before and that is rhinitis rhinitis you can see the condition behind me again runny nose the runny nose and uh, bulging red eyes itchy eyes watery eyes these are some of the conditions which are obsessed with it. Then after this, we have very important case, very important case, and I said related ulceration. You can see a picture behind me, you can see the ulcers inside the stomach and how the ulceration happens, you see in the next photo behind me. You can see what's going on there, there will be less mucine due to which there will be no protection of the wall of the of the wall of the intestine or the of the stomach and that will of the stomach uh, sorry and the, that will cause the uh, perforation inside the walls and will damage the wall of the stomach and will induce the ulcers in it. Then after this we have contraindications. Contraindication is only one that is hypersensitivity. Means if you're sensitive to the loratadine, you have to stop using it. Uh, you have not to use it. Then we have the side effects. The side effects are first of all, the first side effect is the sinus tachycardia. What is sinus tachycardia? Sinus tachycardia is uh, a abnormal increase in the heart rate. You can see the uh, ECG behind me. In the ECG, you can observe that P wave is a bit hidden, and a very important, very important symptom of the of this kind of tachycardia is this: you will see 
very high heart rate even reaching from 100 to the 150 range okay so it's not normal so normal is uh, around about 70 beats per minute so it's not normal <laughs> then after this we have another condition of hair loss also known as allopathy in some of the conditions so then we have the tinnitus tinnitus is a condition of ear in which you will hear the rings abnormally you will hear the rings and you will hear the very bulging sounds out of your ear and what is the reason what is the reason behind it we have a cochlea in our ear and it has a hair inside it so when these hair gets damaged get damaged then your sound will be bulgy in the ringing and like a ringing of the bell so and this is one of the side effect of the loratadine and uh, one of the thing i would like to mention here is the drowsiness you can see all of the side effects there will be a drowsiness but at the bottom line the reason is this Loratadine is a specific in its action. We will see it in the mode of action. So it is specific in its action. So it usually binds to the H1 receptors present in the periphery of the body. Okay. So it has a, a very small effect on the brain. Okay. Due to a very small effect on the brain, it induces drowsiness, in but in a very minute quantity. Let's discuss more affection on the pharmacodynamics. You know allergy, what kind of allergy and how the allergy happens. I have told you in detail that how allergy works or how allergens perform their reactions in the previous video. You can go and check it out. I will share the link in the description below. And uh, uh, when we have the allergen inside our body, there will be allergy. We have to stop either histamine or either uh, or to block the H1 receptors. So loratadine goes into the periphery, peripheral H1 receptor, either binds to it or stops the histamine to bind with the H1 receptors. And in this way, we are not going to get any kind of allergy. Okay, this was the more affection of it. That's it for the Lorotadin. But one more thing I would like to mention, very important, and I am going to start from now to on to onwards. I will explain, I will tell you about the half life of each drug as well. Now, the half life of the Lorotadin is six hours. It means that uh, once you have taken the 10 milligram of the loratadine in the morning, next dose of the loratadine 10 milligram you have to take it after six hours. Otherwise, it will create the toxicity. It will create the side effects like sinus tachycardia, hair loss, hypotension, blood uh, blood volume. Uh, sorry, a tiny uh, tiny tiny test and. Uh, many some many different conditions like that so what you have to do you have to take the medicine the tablet of the loratadine after six hours otherwise it will be declared as overdose and you will come to suffer from the overdose that is we call side effects okay so you have to, um, you have also to take care of about this thing as well. That, that how much long a drug is uh, retained in our, inside our body. Okay, and overdose may also overdose of every drug that is taken orally can damage your liver and kidney as well. That is very important because of the, because of detoxification of most of the drugs that are taken orally either in the form of the syrups or tablets goes into the liver and then distributed throughout the body okay that uh, we will discuss it and discuss it later hope you have liked the video and in the previous video you respond with another one.
I am hoping for the very big response from you all and uh, that is for tomorrow that is for today we will see you in the next video very soon but keep in your mind that you have to like subscribe share and everything whatever you can do this time i'm saying goodbye but we'll meet you in the next video very soon goodbye